They didn't tell me a fib. They made me believe I'm gonna get 730 CFMs with 190 miles per hour. No, you can't get both. Jim at Safescape Lawn Care. I'm gonna do a quick unboxing, which I already did. I'm gonna bore you with that to undo the box. So we're doing the Ryobi 40, 40 volt horsepower. Now, there's been a lot of talk on this. And there's a little trickery going on, guys. So let me get you up close and personal to this thing. What does that tell you? 730 CFM at 190 miles per hour. Whisper quiet. Five year tool, three year battery, lithium four. They give you they do give you two four H's. Uh for um amp, sorry. Um and it's of course it's a brushless motor. So here's where the trickery comes. Let's go pull this out not really liking the marketing here so anyway so press this man there you go like that press hard it's fully charged i want to charge it up for you guys a little thin there so let me put this on the and then i'll show you what i'm talking about this guys yeah a little soft tub they give you an extra one okay so one shorter than the other one so you're supposed to cut them off at whatever you kind of want so it's just a clip on you don't even need this okay so if you let's put this on so it connects right here i'll let you look inside It's uh, kind of heavy with the battery, so. But anyway, it, um, it just connects. There, done. You want to connect your nozzles. Here's where the trick comes in. This is just two of them, so let's get rid of that one. Again, it just separates, put it on there, done. Clip it in, right? CFM, of course, is volume. The horsepower, you squeeze the volume and it throws out more power. And that's why they're showing you 160, 175, and 190 horsepower. So that means I got to leave all three of these tips in, right? Again, I'm not going to cut it off. But guess what I'm going to lose? CFM. You can't have both, it's impossible. Okay, so if I want the horsepower, I'm leaving it all on there. So 190 miles per hour with this tip, of course, but I'm going to sacrifice volume. If I want to take this tip off, now I got my CFM back but it won't be at 190 miles per hour. Now that's true to every blower, but the marketing it gave you 730 CFM 190. That's what I thought I was purchasing. Because most of the time, we all know that, but, uh, you know, if you purchase a blower, you know, I don't care if it's a uh, still or whatever, it's going to tell you, and obviously you got to change your hoses. We know that. See, they don't give you a disclaimer here. You can't have both, the one or the other. 730 CFM is pretty good. Let's do some testing. But I don't know... See, even this gets reduced. 
So if they're saying, hey, 730 out of this, okay, well, we know as it goes down to 160, is it 140, 150? I don't know. Uh, but you're not going to get 700, and that's your speed, sorry. You're not going to get 730. You're going to lose your speed, which is probably force of 140, 150. So I'm going to test the CFM. I'm going to test the uh, speed. Now, you know, we're not all dumb here. Put this back in here. Um, just so you know, there's little, little clippies in here. You just got to kind of put it in there. And um, it's pretty dark. So anyway, so whoop, there it is. One more. And maybe this is still a good blower. Um, kind of heavy. Um, get a little torque to it. It is, um, the throttle is variable. It does have a boost. The boost is right here. They're saying 21 minutes on the regular throttle. Your boost, they don't say, but I saw one one video uh, that someone else did on this, and he said he got seven minutes out of it. Well, I believe that. You know, we all know that. You just can't use the boost. That's really going to make more for wet leaves, but that's why they give you two batteries, right? We'll see. So I'm going to... Let's do a test. Let's use this box. Do a little test. Okay. Let's see. We're going to use that box. I'm going to get my gas blower too, by the way, just kind of test it out here. So, I'm going to stand, what am I, five feet away. Right? Yeah, about five feet away. Uh, the maximum CFM. There's no speed. We're going to do test. We're going to do the regular throttle and then the turbo. Put on our tip and according to this it's going to be 190 miles per hour all right again same thing about five feet away um, and i'm going to use as a regular throttle and then the turbo that was further close in and give more energy out. Oh, about five feet again. Let me pause this and get my gas blower. All right, guys, I'm back. So I have the, uh, what do I have, what is this? BG86 gas blower from Steel. 444 uh, cubic feet uh, CFMs um, and 166 miles per hour. Let's see what this does. Of course, gas guys, I gotta prime it, I gotta choke it, I gotta do all that.
had to adjust the, uh... by the way, I got it. I don't have it on the maximum CFM. I have it on the maximum miles per hour. So I try to take it off, but yeah. So the um, still is 270 bucks. The Ryobi is 300 bucks. So let's do one more test. Let's do one more test. So it took a while for the steel to finally, but once the wind got up underneath it, then it just rolled it. Uh, just like the, uh, the Ryobi. So, let's use the Ryobi. Maximum 190 miles per hour, guys. So, let's see you again. I got to use turbo. I have to use turbo to get underneath it. So you can even just tell the, the amount of wind it was doing. So, which means that am I going to have to use turbo all the time versus the steel 444 at 166 miles per hour? They're saying 730 at 190. So let's use, let's not use that tip. I'm trying guys at its normal position that would use it non-turbo it's just not going to move the box let's put this back on we're going to use turbo now take tip off turbo Well, there you have it, guys. How much energy did we use? Let's see. Okay, I didn't use any bars. So, a couple of things I have going on here that I don't know that I'm gonna keep this. I really bought it for myself, for my business. Yeah, I broke ranks. Usually I'm a steel kind of guy. Um, here's what I don't understand, Ryobi. How are we mounting this? I, 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 that's the only mount? Put that in my trailer under a what, one screw hole? We all know the trailer's gonna bounce and shake. Kinda heavy. But I don't know, that plastic will not hold up. It will not. Um, for the homeowner, okay. But not for the commercial guys. I don't see it. Um, and I can't just... can't just do that where am I gonna put that in my trailer how am I gonna mount that I guess I'll have to have a kind of a a U bracket what am I gonna do over here I mean that's gonna be a huge I mean the way it's slanted so the only way I guess if I decide to keep it is I guess put a, a U bracket and yeah, that'll be tough to get off well no I don't uh, really more weighted over here I mean is it balanced yeah seems to be pretty balanced I'm just not sold guys I'm just not sold um, you got to use the turbo that's 300 bucks. Um, and honestly, I'm glad they gave me two batteries. If it was just one battery, I could tell you there's no way I'd take it back to the store. 
two batteries got to use turbo most of the time and I should run this and um, let's just see if I run it um, let me see my stopwatch you know, I said he did it for seven minutes you know I trust him what he said um, I'm just going to do it on a scientific. Where's my clock? Okay, we're going to start it. And I probably. Hey, what's this? No, stopwatch. There we go. All right, I just started it. just died so I'm well, trying to hold that thing for 11 minutes guys that was 11 minutes I don't know about this other youtuber when he said it was seven minutes but and of course remember I did probably what a minute maybe a minute and a half testing prior to this so you know I'll give it credit uh, I'm 11 say call it let's call it 13 minutes on turbo um, and it kind of died at the very end, but it, it held strong probably when the when the light bar was blinking The one last bar it started to go down a little bit as far as the pressure but um, Yeah, you know, it's still pretty good. Uh, I'm just strictly on turbo You know, do you need turbo? Um, yeah, you do um, 
you saw it on the still, the gas blower. Um, I mean, both of them, full throttle for the still, right? Full throttle here, this is variable. Well, they're both variable, but um, the, this definitely needs the turbo. Where that one didn't really, the steel didn't really need the turbo. It has no turbo on it. It's just full on, right? I think the problem I have uh, what is this? So it's a 4 amp battery. Uh, they give you two of them, one charger. Um, I imagine it's a couple hour charge time, but um, yeah, a little blinky there. A little blinky. It's saying uh, it's completely out lithium. Anyway. Um, for the homeowner, okay, yeah. I mean, I don't know why the homeowner would need two batteries, would you? Unless you're in a, I don't know, really bad environment. Um, but honestly, for the commercial guy, I can't hang it up. I can't, this will break in no time. That's the only mounting? Come on, Ryobi, you can do better than that. You put the battery in there, it's gonna be heavy. Uh, I'm just gonna have to do a U-joint. I don't see it for the commercial guy. Sorry, Ryobi, I just don't see it. Um, You made us believe 750 CFMs at 190 miles per hour was it. No. You want 750 miles per hour, you gotta take this off, which you, then you'll lose your 190 miles per hour, right? Did I say that right? If you want your CFMs to be 750, you gotta take this off. Then you're gonna lose your miles per hour, which we, we know is gonna be the distance. Sure, volume. I'm sure in fall cleanup, yeah, you got the loose leaves, but when they're wet leaves, you got to put this on. Then you lose your volume. So again, Ryobi, they want you to cut, which I don't, why? You know, if you don't want the 190, you cut that off. You'll get 175. You don't want the 175, cut that off. So it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, right? So I would simply wouldn't cut any of these off. I'd use it without and with. Nothing in between. I won't cut any of that off. So then they gave you a spare. Well, the spare only has 175 and 160. <laughs> they already cut one of them off for you. Um, I don't see it, guys. I don't see using this commercially. Homeowner, yeah, okay. But then, if you got, uh, what would we say, it was 12 minutes of uh, turbo time, do you need two batteries? I mean, yeah, it's nice, I guess. But for commercial guys, sorry, probably just not it. If you got any value out of this, um, consider liking it. Helps the algorithm, helps push it out further. Consider subscribing. I'll do more reviews. I have a lot of reviews already, um, and I give tips. I'm actually a commercial uh, landscaper as well, so we go to different homes in Florida. I mow year-round, so again, consider subscribing. I hope this helps you out. If you have some comments on it, let me know. I'll answer the best of my knowledge, but for me, I'm not. I'm taking it back. I just don't see it. I'll continue my hunt on handheld battery blowers. I Hopefully there's something out there for me still. Yeah, I may go with still because I have the batteries. But uh, even for that, I mean, there still says it's on par with the BG86. Uh, 444 CFMs, 160 miles an hour. So it's just the run time. Obviously, it's 21 or 23 minutes. So I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test that as well. But I'm taking this back. I It kind of tore me, told me a fib. Well, they didn't tell me a fib. They made me believe I'm gonna get 730 CFMs with 190 miles per hour. No, you can't get both. It's one or the other. We just showed you that. So, 
Give me some comments, guys. Peace. Stay hydrated. Love you guys.